Let's play a little game of picture association. When you see this, what do you think of? Was it this? Or maybe this? I'm willing to wager you didn't think of this or this. If you did, you might be a female turkey. In any case, what we think a female wild turkey thinks of when they see this iconic display isn't as simple as this. They could be thinking of something like this. Telling the difference is complicated, even for researchers. Here's the sort of big, bold, obvious species with a really dramatic display and don't quite yet know the answer as to what are males uh, trying to say to females and what are females able to discern from that display. There's many reasons why it's tough for animal behaviorists like Dr. Richard Buckholz of the University of Mississippi to understand what a female turkey, known as a hen, likes in a male turkey, known as a tom or a jake. So if you want to know uh, what a female turkey prefers, you have to prevent the males from uh, competing directly, physically, with one another. And you have to deal with the fact that your study subjects could become trophies. This means that much of Dr. Buckholz's experiments on mate choice needed to be conducted in a controlled settings of a lab. When I first started working on wild turkey mate choice, I gave females a choice of two males. Keep in mind that he can't force himself on her. She has to be cooperative, and she shows this interest in mating with him by entering a copulation posture. Uh, we call this the solicitation crouch. And just to be sure the hens weren't settling for the better of two lesser jakes. My more recent work uses a display ground for the turkeys in which she's got 16 males that she can choose from. These trials have given Dr. Buckholz a few clues as to what hens like in a tom. The rate at which males display doesn't seem to be strongly correlated with whether she mates with him. But this doesn't seem to stop males from giving it their all. Males will display when females are not there. They'll display to crows or white-tailed deer, um, to other males. And all of this gallivanting isn't without risk. Turkeys are big birds, and it's difficult for them when they're very active to dissipate body heat. But all that muscular tissue that's energetically active, that's giving off heat during courtship display, has a hard time getting rid of excess heat. This begs the question, why display a lot? And so what I've proposed is she's looking for the guy that can display rigorously despite the cost of that heat accumulating in his body during the display. In other words, females like a hot male that can keep it cool. Luckily for the toms, they're equipped with specialized body parts that help them thermoregulate, and which also play a very significant role in sexual selection. In every one of my studies, females have preferred males with longer snoots. No, the snood is not code for something else. A brief lesson in wild turkey physiology. If we start at the base of the neck, we have the frontal caruncles on the side of the neck or the side caruncles. These get more colorful when a male reaches sexual maturity. And then on the forehead of the male, uh, there's a snood, and that snood is distendable. And when they're displaying uh, to a hen, they relax that muscle and the snood will extend and dangle down across their bill. And Dr. Buckholt's experiments have showed that snood size really matters. As little as two millimeters can make a difference. At this point, you might be thinking, that's silly. What on earth could a floppy appendage say about a male's fitness? We think that it's an indicator of male parasite load. And we've done experiments to confirm that uh, relationship. And so males with longer snoots have fewer uh, parasites. And possess genes for stronger parasite resistance. And that's not the only signal females can discern from the male's display. Turkeys that have been infected with coccidia have iridescent feathers that reflect less brightness in the ultraviolet spectrum. These are genetic cues that a male can't fake, so it makes sense that they would hold weight. But even so, Dr. Bolkholtz asserts that wild turkey courtship is much more complex than finding a long-snooted tom that can keep their cool. In the field of sexual selection, we've really come to understand that um, we'll find individual variation. And in fact, females who've uh, experienced parasitic infection choose slightly differently than females who have never been infected. There may be another male around that is limiting her access to her preferred mate. It could be that the clock is ticking and time is running out during the breeding season. And all of these females then may look for different characteristics in males. But regardless of her genes, her condition, or her personal preferences, the only thing she can get from males 
are his, his genes for her offspring. And as a consequence, um, she should be choosy and she should try to evade males that she doesn't like. So the next time you see this festive, altogether wholesome display, you might want to stop and consider what it really means. For Science Friday, I'm Luke Groskin.